so it is time for our first food video here from Montenegro and the big question is what do we know about Montenegrin cuisine? Because apparently that's what it's called. Yeah, it is. And the Montenegrin is food. <laughs> not very much. I can't say I've ever had it anywhere else in the world, but we have been doing a bit of research. Apparently it's heavily influenced by Turkey, Greece, Italy, and all of its neighbors. Um, so that should be interesting. And also it varies depending on the region you're in. So right. what they eat along the coast is very different from what they have up in the mountains. Yeah. So we're going to be focusing on seafood today because we're in Kotor, we're right by the water. And yeah, this place is called Cesarica, I believe. Um, yeah, and they have a massive menu and it's all seafood and everything sounded so good. We ordered some stuffed, stuffed squid. Yes. Um, which should be interesting. I'm really excited about that because I was reading the reviews on TripAdvisor and everyone was saying, eat the stuffed squid. Yeah. Um, so yeah. That's awesome. So why don't you, so you ordered some tea, why don't you try that I got us? tea. I got tea because it's cold and it's rainy out, so. It's green, green tea. tea it is. <laughs> <laughs> you had a choice between green and black and you're like, yeah. I'll go for green. I'll go okay. for green. And it's good. It's keeping me warm. Also, check out the restaurant. We're like in this little cave, it yeah. feels like. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. The walls are super cool. It's all like stone and brick and it's super homey and kind of dark and I like it. Alright, and somebody's looking a little different since the last video. What just happened, Sam? Yeah, yeah, I finally got my hair cut. My gosh, I couldn't even remember the last time it was. It was in Poland. Yeah, that's that was in the summer. A few months ago. And like the fall's almost over, we're moving into winter. So yeah. this is moving on to like three and a half, four months since yeah. I got cut. I got my hair cut too, so I've been yeah. pretty happy today. <laughs> I was, it was getting pretty shaggy, so <laughs> it was time. Anyways, raising a pint over here. I've a got pint. I've got some of the dark local draft. Ooh, that's quite nice. The, my like initial thoughts is that it's got a bit of a sweet molasses kind mm -hmm. of flavor. It's got a bit of a like a dark bread. Yeah. And it, it does remind me a bit of Guinness, like a lighter Guinness that's more sweet. Ooh. And it's 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 a nice beer. It should go really good with the seafood that's coming soon. All right. Ready for it. Ready for it. All right, guys, the food is here and it looks amazing. Check this out. So this is what I ordered. This is the stuffed squid with shrimp. So I'm just going to bring one over. Let's cut into it. Look at the colors. It's like golden, crispy on the exterior, really soft when you cut into it. Oh, wow. Look. look at that. It this sure is, is the stuffed. Inside. It sure is stuffed. Oh my, it smells so good. Does it? Yeah. Let's yeah, th see. this was when we were looking up this place, this is what was this recommended. This is a dish that was recommended over and over again. <laughs> mm. What's it? That looks so good. Is it? Mm. I haven't had a whole lot of squid in my life, but I believe this is what it's supposed to taste like. <laughs> it's just so... When it's done well. It's so tender. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. This squid can be quite chewy. So... It's not at all. Wow. When I think of squid, I think it harkens back to my days in uh, you know South Korea when I had a lot of uh, squid the raw snacks. Squid? Not oh. so much raw, but the dried squid that was really tough and chewy, oh, yeah. and salty. The yeah. ones that you're supposed to take to the movie theater as your little yeah snack. movie theater baseball games. No, this is totally kind of different. Nothing like it. Yeah. Also, the filling, the shrimp. I think it's like mixed with mashed potatoes. Right. So yeah, this is really good. I think you're gonna enjoy it. Oh. And it also comes with potatoes and Swiss chard. Check that out. Mm. It's wonderful. <laughs> well, well. In he goes. Yeah, can't wait to try this. I'm gonna do the same as you. I'm gonna cut it in half. Yeah. It is stuffed. It's jacked. It is jacked. It's jacked squid. Oh my gosh. Isn't that wonderful? It tastes so much better than I thought it would. But <laughs> I don't know why. I, I think we just haven't had a lot of squid. Like, we don't eat that much seafood, but this is amazing. Just the way it's done. It's just like, it's coated. I think it's coated in quite a bit of oil. Yeah. It's cooked to perfection on the outside. It's so crispy. Crispy. 
But then on the inside, you get that juiciness and tenderness. There's a lot of flavors going on. It's just it's absolutely delicious. Okay, I'm gonna try some of the, the potato and Swiss chard mash as well. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it goes really good. well. Yeah. yeah. That's squid though. That's, That's good. That oh, squid yeah. has won us over. Going in. I, I just can't. Going in for number three. <laughs> oh, I can't help myself. What can I say? Okay, so this right here is the next dish we ordered. And this is called fritura. And it's basically just fried fish. Yes. Local catch of the day. Catch of the day. And I believe they said this is hake. Hake or hake. Okay, yeah. I, I don't really know my fish that well, so I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce the fish's name. What do you think? Should I be using my hands for this or just stick? Yeah, it? go for it. Stick it with Sam already hands. took a bite out of I this did. one. I did. He's good. A little earlier. Yeah. yeah I, I guess think I can use my hands. No. Couldn't wait. Mm. What do you think? That's good. I think these have just been like deep fried holes, so like they still have the bones. But it's so easy to pull, peel it off. There you go. Whole thing came out. Wow. Mm. I should be squirting lemon all over this. There you go. That's the way to do it. Mm -hmm. Premium. <laughs> Make it premium with the lemon. Premium with the lemon. I'm just gonna eat the tail. It's also so soft. I think you can eat the whole thing. Yeah. It's been fried. Nice contrast though between the juiciness of the first dish and the crispiness of this mm -hmm. one. I would agree. It's yeah. really good. And I'm gonna be needing a napkin. You will. My turn? Alright, I'm ready to try to. Look at you using cutlery after <laughs> I made a mess. It's rare that I'm the one that's being, uh, you know, ha ha having better table etiquette than you, but <laughs> I'll, take, really is. I'll, I'll take a rare win. For me, it's just all about the saltiness and the crispiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah. It's just really nice. A little bit more. Mm -hmm. And you're right, I do think you can eat the whole thing. I think the yeah. bones bones have been fried too. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's all so soft. Like you didn't even taste the bones. It's just dig right in. Ooh, so I should mention, another dish that had been recommended was the fried, is it fried anchovies or fried sardines? Oh, I yeah. forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they didn't have those. They didn't have them today, so we actually, that's why we went for this, actually. Yeah. We were actually, originally, originally had our, uh, our eye. I think it was sardines. On that. Yeah. Oh, it was, no, it was both. They had it sardines both. and anchovies. Mm. But the, I think they didn't have sardines, so we decided to go for the local cat. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is pretty good. It is. Oh, and you want to show us the salad we got? We've kind of been neglecting oh, yeah. that. Oh, in favor about. of seafood. Okay, so this is just a basic salad. As you can see, you've got tomatoes, huge chunks of cheese, mm -hmm. um, feta, Olive. feta, feta, and goat cheese is really big in this in the city. I can Ooh, tell yeah. <laughs> because when we went, when we, <coughs> pardon me, when we go, <coughs> when we go to the grocery store, it's just, just so many different kinds of feta or, or goat cheese, or other, other types of cheese that's very yeah. similar. Uh, it's way more prominent than, for example, like sliced cheese. Or yeah. You don't see like cheddar or much, so much mozzarella, but you see a lot of this. That looks mm. good. It's a really nice olive. Yeah, I'm going to try the cheese and a bite of tomato here. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, let's work on this and then we'll be back yeah. with dessert because oh. we are getting dessert. Oh, you know we us. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know it. Okay, so that was a really good meal. We ordered two main fish dishes, one salad, tea, beer, and it came to 32 euros. Yeah. Food is pricey, even in coastal towns, so be prepared for that. But yeah, That's true. it's really tasty. We were planning to get dessert, and then we went to order cake, and they said they didn't have any. And yeah, they not today. And offered us fruit instead, and we were like, And we're like, no. Fruit? So guys, we're on the hunt for dessert. Yes. We're gonna show you something. Maybe, maybe we'll stop by a bakery or something. Or maybe gelato, we'll see. We'll see, <laughs> we'll, see. we'll see, we'll see. Okie doke guys, we ended up going back home. We found a really good bakery. Yes. And uh, yeah. We hit up a bakery along the way. We couldn't really find any places for dessert. Like it's low season and it's rainy. So yeah. it feels like everything's shut down. We could have popped into another restaurant, but we just didn't have the patience for that. I'm just gonna use my hands. Yeah. Okay, so we got some bowls here. Um, so the white one is called Raffaello. 
Yep. And this one is either Bombisa or Bombica. I'm not yeah. entirely sure. Well, you remember better than me. <laughs> I forgot both. So let's see. Raffaello. I remember you can get chocolates that look like that. Mm. I bet it's good. Mm. Coconut? It's coconut. Yeah. Coconutty. Mm -hmm. But I wish it were juicier. I mean, I've never had this before, so I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to taste like. It's a little dry. Um, this is a little bit dry. Some juiciness would be good. Ooh. <laughs> this shredded coconut's just flying everywhere. Try that other one. And then there's this. <gasps> Man. Mm. Okay. All right, there we go. And I should mention that these two, plus the cake that we're going to try down here, came to just over three euros. So we definitely uh, saved a little money by going to the bakery. <laughs> mm. Is it good? Is it's it co interesting. Is it chocolatey? It has a filling. Okay. I almost bit into it. One more bite. One more bite to determine what For it science. Is. I've never had anything like this before. Really? It's um it's quite heavy. This okay. one's almost like a rock. It's really dense. <laughs> like a rock. It is. Is it tasty though? Yeah, but I feel like I need a cup of tea. Okay. Or something to go with it. Well, it's good that we got some wine. Yeah, it's something that you nibble on slowly. Okay. I think I may like the coconut one better. Let me go back to that. It'll grow on me. It'll grow I on me. I think once I get a cup of tea, I'll be able to enjoy that better. And we also got cake. Yeah, we also got cake. And this is basically, um, they said it was tiramisu cake. Right? Mm -hmm. I, I called it cheesecake. We were going to get the cheesecake, but we ended up going for this. Dig right in. Okay. Show us what it's all about. Let's see. Ooh. And then I'll show you guys the wine after. We got a, a special, uh, we got a, sp a special, a special wine that is unique to uh, Montenegro. Mm -hmm. Montenegrin wine, red wine. And how's that cake? It's not my favorite. No? <laughs> I feel like I'm not really having a good day with the desserts here. Um, the cream, it's a little bland. It could be sweeter. Okay. It's just a whole lot of cream and yeah, I think it needs some more sugar. And it doesn't have a strong coffee flavor. If you're giving me tiramisu, I'm expecting some coffee in there. Oh, there you go. Lunch was a bigger hit than dessert. Yeah, a lunch was way better than okay. dessert. Let me show you guys the wine. Let's do that. Okay, guys, so if you're traveling in Montenegro and you enjoy your red wines, you definitely have to try what's local. It mm. is Vranitz. Yeah. And my goodness, is it ever good. Mm -hmm. I had some the other night when we first arrived, and yeah. yeah, it's very good. I like to call it the, it's like red velvet going down. It's a dry <laughs> red. It's got a lot of taste. It's very potent. Um, anyways, about this wine, yeah, it, it's it's unique to here, and it uh, it refers to the Vranitz grape, mm -hmm, and that's right. what it's made from. Let's start drinking. All right, let's see if this is any good. I poured yeah. us each a glass, so I will. It should be good. Should raise be good. a glass to the local red wine. Are you toasting to to wine with toasting wine? Toasting to wine. Oh yeah, this is good stuff, guys. Good. Oh yeah. I think this is gonna make our dessert so oh. much better. Yeah, it's it's so neat to try some different wines in this region, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, this is a really good one. Yeah, I have to say it took us oh. a while to find our footing, especially yeah. with wine in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Yeah, um, but, but yeah. Once, once we did, it was good. Yes. And the one here, um, the bottle I picked up, it's a 2013, and mm -hmm. it's it was normally like, I think, closer to four euros, and this one was slightly under three euros, so mm -hmm. what a deal, and it, it tastes delicious, so... Highly recommend it. So yeah, we are gonna sign out from here. That was dessert, that was wine. Overall, a really good meal. We sure ate a lot. It's time for our siesta. And thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Ta-ta.